There are some crazy rumors that Noah Cyrus was allegedly seeing Dominic Purcell before Tish Cyrus and he started dating and then got married. Recall there's definitely been some bad blood within the Cyrus family with Noah being notably absent from her mom's wedding back in August. The minute you met him, did you know, kind of? Yes. It was just right. I he said literally that when his phone dinged, he knew it was not about a show. And he said, I looked at my phone and out loud go, it's on. The Cyrus family got some serious drama going down and it's got everyone scratching their heads. So picture this, Miley's mom, Tish, ends up with her other daughter, Noah's ex. Now that's a whole new level of messy. Word on the street is there's some serious drama brewing in the Cyrus clan. Turns out Purcell wasn't just catching up with Tish, but allegedly also had a thing with her daughter, Noah. Yeah, you heard that right. Noah and Purcell were supposedly friends with benefits before Tish swooped in. They even got married and Noah skipped her own mother's wedding. Now Miley just found out about this whole thing and she's not happy about it. There's been some bad blood within the Cyrus family lately, and the latest rumors aren't helping their case. The fans have been going crazy over some reports claiming that Noah Cyrus and her mom, Tish, are on the outs. Apparently, 24-year-old Noah isn't too thrilled that her 56-year-old mom, Tish, tied the knot with Dominic Purcell, the dude from Prison Break. And get this, rumors suggest that Noah and Dominic might have had a thing in the past. And get this, insiders are spilling more beans saying Noah and Purcell were doing their thing for a good eight to nine months. An insider said that Noah and Dominic were seeing each other in a friends with benefits way, off and on. They stopped seeing each other, and then Tish started something up. Tish knew he had been seeing Noah. And get this, Tish apparently never even talked to Noah about it. Noah felt straight up disrespected because apparently, Tish knew all about her fling with Purcell but didn't bother to chat about it before tying the knot. Tish never gave Noah the chance to talk about all of this before they got married. But here's where it gets even messier. Noah didn't even show up to her mom's wedding, sparking all kinds of speculation. Reports say she and her brother Brayson were invited but decided to sit this one out, supposedly because they ain't feeling the whole Dominic situation. The word on the street is that Tish was the one who gave the cold shoulder to Noah and Brayson. Apparently, she was on a mission to keep Noah far away from her wedding to Dominic. She even went as far as blocking them on Instagram. Harsh, right? And get this, she even hired security to keep them out of the wedding. So while their mom Tish was busy saying I do to Dominic Purcell, Noah and Brayson apparently decided to have their own little adventure at Walmart. Noah even rocked a Billy Ray Cyrus shirt, and that sends a clear message to Tish. Turns out, Noah and Tish haven't exchanged words since the whole Dominic mess. Like, it's legit causing a major riff in the family. Tish is apparently all over the place, trying to figure out damage control mode. However, Miley was obviously at Tish's wedding. Miley and Tish, they're like besties, straight up inseparable. So when Tish decided to tie the knot with Dominic, Miley was right there by her side as her maid of honor. So didn't she notice Noah was missing? Now, remember that whole mess with Miley not thanking her dad at the Grammys? Yeah, that might have been just the tip of the iceberg. So, on Feb 4, 2024, Tish and Brandy joined Miley at the Grammy Awards, where Miley snagged two wins. But here's the tea. When she accepted the award for Record of the Year, she didn't give a shout out to her dad, Billy Ray. Instead, she thanked her mom, sister, and her fiance. My mommy, my sister, my love, my main gaze, cause look how good I look. Uh, anyone else? Your wife, your fiance, all the people that we love. Thank you all so much. I don't think I forgot anyone. Yeah, you forgot your own dad, Miley. Then, she dropped a sassy line about possibly forgetting underwear. But I might have forgotten underwear. Bye! Classic Miley, am I right? Rumor has it that the Cyrus siblings have been taking sides ever since their parents split back in 2022. Looks like Miley, Trace, and Brandy are on Team Tish, while Noah and Brayson are riding with Billy Ray. But here's the kicker. Miley claims she had zero clue about the whole Dominic Noah drama. According to insiders, she was blindsided and had to confront her mom about it. Despite thinking the situation's hella weird, Miley just wants her mom to be happy. 
Reports are flooding in from all over, painting this picture of family drama. But here's the scoop. Miley's not about to give her mom or her new stepdad the cold shoulder, so this might put strain on her relationship with Noah. Billy Ray Cyrus and Tish Cyrus, after a roller coaster ride, decided to call it quits officially in April 2022. Tish filed for divorce on April 6, 2022, in Williamson County, Tennessee, citing irreconcilable differences. According to documents scooped up by people, they hadn't been under the same roof for over two years. But hold up, they weren't about to make it all gloomy and doomed. Nah, they dropped a joint statement via a family rep, exclusively to people, straight up spreading love. They wrote, It is after 30 years, five amazing children and a lifetime of memories, we have decided to go our separate ways. Not with sadness, but with love in our hearts. We have grown up together, raised a family we can be so proud of, and it is now time to create our own paths. We will always be family and look forward to a continued and loving shared experience as friends and parents. We have not come to this decision lightly or quickly, but with so much going on in the world, we wanted to provide some clarity and closure so we can remain focused on what is important. With love and hope, Tish and Billy Ray Cyrus. They went on talking about raising a dope family together and how it was time to blaze their own trails. But here's the kicker. They're still tight. They're keeping that family bond strong, looking forward to keeping it real as friends and co-parents. And peep this, they wanted to clear the air so they could stay focused on what really matters in life. So after Billy Ray got engaged to Fire Rose in August 2022, following his split with Tish, Noah wasn't just sitting around soaking in the drama. Nah, she dropped some real feels with her dad in a special song called Noah Stand Still on her debut album, The Hardest Part. The inspo behind the track, Noah's Journey. She was getting over some real stuff, battling a Xanax addiction, and popped over to her dad's crib in Nashville to get back on track. Billy Ray, being the OG he is, reminded her to stay grounded, feel the earth beneath her feet, and just stand still. And when Billy Ray shared the song on his Instagram, Noah responded with a sweet message. The honor is mine, daddy. So grateful to share this track I wrote about you, Pappy, and Papa Cyrus. You're my hero and inspiration. I love you. When the song dropped, Billy Ray was all proud dad vibes, sharing the cover art on his socials and hyping up Noah's killer performance. He was straight up honored to be on that track with her. And Noah, she was feeling the love, calling her dad her hero and inspiration. Meanwhile, in Miley's Hulu special, Endless Summer Vacation, continued Backyard Sessions. She opened up about her pops, Billy Ray, sharing how different their fame journeys have been. Miley grew up in the limelight, while her dad had a whole other experience. Trace also spilled some tea on his Insta stories, keeping it real about how being part of a famous fam affected his career. He loves his family, but he's feeling like maybe flying solo could have helped him shine brighter in the spotlight. Now, let's rewind a bit to when Tish spilled some tea on Call Her Daddy. She was chatting about how she and Dominic first connected, and let me tell you, it's a wild ride. So you watched that and you just said, and I'm DMing him? Okay, I would always say Dom's my hall pass. Always. Are you we would f like, oh, I, would, I was like, oh my gosh, it is so sad that the two of us aren't, because I was married and whatever. Mm -hmm. I would joke about it. Like, it is heartbreaking that the two of us aren't going to be a couple because we're so perfect. Yeah. Not even joking. In 2016, Dom DM'd me. Yes. And yeah. He DM'd me. And just said, hey, Tish, just wanted to think I think you're super cool and you, like you're doing such a great job with your family and blah, 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 blah. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Although I didn't see it for a year. Apparently, he blocked her on Instagram and that's how it started. And Brandy, oh, or man, C. literally Brandy, <laughs> so. I'll never forget this. We're in my car and for some reason... <laughs> I had your phone and or something happened that I realized like he he wasn't I wasn't following him anymore. Oh. And so Brandy looked and and she was like, oh, no, oh, he must not have Instagram anymore. And she goes, so oh, no. I looked and I was like, no, he has it. You're just blocked. So she's been blocked. What? From Dom's Instagram. What? Mm -hmm. X. Oh, yeah. Had seen he hit me up and blocked my, me from his Instagram. I almost peed my pants <laughs> because I was like. 
why does he even know who I like? Why am I blocked? <laughs> I'm freaking blocked. She's all hyped up, talking about how she slid into his DMs and made the first move. Oh, that was 2017, and I didn't ever thinking about it again. <laughs> I was with my friend mm -hmm. on FaceTime. Mm -hmm. She was like, "You're a catch." Out of anyone, and I'm like, "Cause I'm like, no, well, who is gonna, gonna go out with me?" Right. She's like, I can, "I'm gonna hook you up. Who, who out of anyone would you want to go out with?" And I go, "Dominic Purcell." And she goes just DM him right now. And I'm like, no. And she's like, yes, because I told her about the 2016 thing. <laughs> You're like, I'm blocked. But you weren't blocked anymore? He unblocked you. I got you. unblocked. <gasps> I do have that. And um, so I sent him a little DM and said, hey, Dom, like we were friends. And I was like, hey, Dom, I have a deal at NBCU. <laughs> and I was such a massive fan of Prison Break. I don't know what you're doing these days, but would you want to talk about creating a show for you on NBCU? Mm -hmm. Genius. Genius. I'm Genius. not talking three seconds later. Ding. Hey, Tish. And because I said, I don't know if you're in LA or Australia. And he said, yeah, Tish, had a crush on you forever. Tish was straight up glowing, talking about how they made out for hours on their first date and dropped the L-bomb the next day. Living her best life, she said, and he was apparently yummy. And so we go to lunch and make out for like three hours. <laughs> At a pub in like a little is hole insane. in the wall. Like I walked in and touched his arm and said, "Hey, Dom," <laughs> and that was it. And then we were like out back uh, having a few little drinks. Which you know what? Let's keep going because I'm gonna get deep. I mean, I cannot even tell you how amazing he is. The minute you met him, did you know? Kind of. Yes. It was just right. I he said literally that when his phone dinged, he knew it was not about a show. And he said, I looked at my phone and out loud go, it's on. But hey, fast forward to today and these two seem like they're in it for the long haul. But yeah, it's a bit odd for the rest of the family to wrap their heads around. Now, on to Tish spilling some real talk on the Call Her Daddy podcast with Brandy. She opened up about her split from Billy Ray in 2022, admitting she stayed in the marriage out of fear of being alone. But when COVID hit, she took a hard look at life, realizing it was time to breathe and be true to herself. Unfortunately, during this time, her mom passed away, leading to a major breakdown. Tish also confessed that she wished she had walked away during their previous divorce filings in 2010 or 2013, but she wanted to protect Noah, who was still young. Speaking of Noah, she's been sticking by Billy Ray's side post-divorce, showing some serious loyalty. Now, Tish hasn't said anything about these rumors, and she was just seen outside for the first time since they started. And guess what? She's looking pretty unbothered, so maybe they hash things out in private because, let's be real, if they didn't, family dinners would be pretty awkward. Noah's fans, however, don't think she should ever forgive Tish. Someone commented, If this is true, I wouldn't blame Noah if she never spoke to her mom again. And that guy is gross too. And of all the men, she's a beautiful woman. She could have married so many other men. Why a man who has slept with your daughter? Wacky. Do you think Noah still cares? After all, she's moved on and gotten engaged for herself. We'll see if Tish skips her wedding too.